Hey folks, slayers, welcome or welcome back. Today we're getting into episode 14 of Queer as Folk. It has been so freaking piping hot. I love this show so much. We already know. I don't really have much to say this week. I'm excited and I just want to get into it. Honestly, my head's a little mixed up right now with what episode is what. I'm very ahead on my Patreon, so... If you want to follow me on Patreon, link will be in the description. If you're not a Patreon person, join the YouTube memberships for the YouTube early YouTube edits. But yeah, I hope we get some more of the mystery of the poor gay kid that was killed. What even else? I can't even think right now. Let's just get into it, guys. Oh, shit. Okay. So, Justin's full-on dancer mode. Um, he's making his own bread, which, that's gross, but we respect. The money in the mouth was gross. We do respect it, but I don't, would rather him get money from Brian than him getting on his knees for, like, the manager, but whatever. Crazy seeing all those guys on my boyfriend. But you're not, Brian. I heard you say if you were me. I mean, everybody knows the only way you get to dance in the bar is if you let the boss blow you. Business. Everyone knows that? Ew. I'm not paying you to make out with your boyfriend. I'm on a break. Break's over. Ew. Relax, Sam. Just keeping your customers happy. Oh, we know him. Come on, you're mine for the next four hours. Four hours, damn. Is he taking, like, pills? Real smooth, Justin. Where are we? <gasps> Did I ever mention that I, I have an irrational but nevertheless... I don't think George was in the last episode. Oh, I love this. Daring, oh, this huh? is Something such a new. vibe. Haven't you ever wanted to travel? Huh? Go around the world? I believe we did that last night. I mean, for real. <laughs> now you can go anywhere you want. The world is yours. It's yours and mine. Just say the word. Around the world? The entire world? Yeah. George says we could be gone six months, a year. He deserves it. I hope he doesn't feel like guilty. It's a life experience. I have so many places I want to go. Like where? Hey, Ben. You don't have to leave Liberty Avenue to get international cuisine. French toast, <laughs> Belgian waffle, yeah. and a Spanish omelet for our own little jet setter. Love it. Oh, De Debbie? Huh. What about yes, Ben? Yes, Ben. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what about my breakfast? Working on it. I have just so many hands. Ooh. What the? Such crap. You always get served last. What yeah, well, I did order Wheaties. What is Wheaties? Well, you're behaving towards Ben. Right, because I didn't hop to when he wanted to scare me. <laughs> you never say hello. You barely speak to him unless you have to. I happen to be busy. Or haven't you noticed? I've got to get somebody his breakfast of champions. I'm surprised she's being like this. I don't like it. Wheaties. Especially to Ben. Good morning, sunshine. Thought you had a class. Huh. I ditched it. No. How are you supposed to do your best work when you're up all night around? I'm taking lessons from you. Yeah, I saw you work. Sticking that funny white powder the sap gave you up your cute little button nose. Oh, that makes more sense. I'm getting so hammered you can't make it to class. Four hundred and ten dollars in one night. For your tuition, which you I feel like it should be more, honestly. Uh oh. Daddy's angry. Hmm, the good old trick. Yeah, let's get back to this. Oh my god. Breaking the case? Uh, nothing yet. This is interesting as fuck. I hope you guys are on my wavelength with being weirdly into this. I mean, a love storyline for her is everything. But what'll it be? Meatloaf sandwich, rice. How about you and me going out tomorrow night? Yeah, that last item isn't on the menu. Thought we could get one of those fancy coffees. Mocha, frappy latte, whatever the hell they're called. <laughs> well, considering how much of that stuff I pour, it'd be a busman's holiday. But dinner then, somebody can wait on you for a change. No thanks. Mm. Not tomorrow, or no thanks, not ever. She doesn't feel worthy or something. Just, no thanks. Oh, that's heartbreaking. You're amazing. I mean, hey, you- Hey, Horvath, you want a lemon bar for the road? No thanks. Wait, didn't he order something, though? You just left. <laughs> oh. 
What are we celebrating? You're a hard act to follow. Retiring from the biz. Always be grateful for my experience here. And uh, you're an inspiration to us all. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Inspiration. <laughs> Never give up hope. Don't want me to give you the money, I'll loan it to you. Yeah, that's what I said. You can pay me back. Yeah. No thanks. I don't. Why are you being such a twat? Literally. Look after myself for once instead of always letting you do it for me. I got it, but like. You once told me that you wanted to make me the best homosexual it was possible for me to be. But by being like. Getting on your knees isn't the way to do it. Nor does having to be a stripper not shaming sex work, but like, he could literally do other things. For the plot, like, I get it. If someone asked me out today... You? <laughs> me. I mean, what I mean is, you haven't seen a straight man in years. What do you call that detective? An asshole. So when are you going? I'm not. He's not my type. Uh, no. He's not my type. He's alive and he's got a... What more do you need? Someone who's not a homophobe? Because he made a couple of cracks? Then they were really just nasty. Means he needs enlightening. So you go out with him. How long has it been since you went on a date? How the f do I know? 1992. No. It must be so rusty it squeaks. I've been busy. Doing what? I already turned him down. Just say yes. We have his number. Oh, 911. <laughs> Kidding. Harder. This isn't sex, is it? Oh, oh it is. Whew. I had a feeling. I wonder how we're gonna go about this. In the sense of, are we not gonna see him for a few episodes? Are we gonna get to go along a little bit? Come on up, Georgie. This better like happen. I feel like they set this storyline up and then they don't leave. Deserve a fabulous life, Em. Well, hello, dream date. Don't tell me they're <laughs> bad news, right? Mm. No pack. Okay. Have a great trip. Oh, thanks. Something's gonna go wrong. This is it? Oh my god, there's like no FaceTiming. Okay. Mm, bye. Bye. I got chills. It's just do their job. If I don't, my professor said he's gonna fail me. I feel for you, kiddo. I really do. Just this once. I'll let you off. But I want you to do me a little favor. What was the favor? Don't distract him, Brian. That's not bad. Thanks. Maybe we'll even hang it. Really? Then you can tell everybody you're hung. I already did. So how'd you get the night off? I told the boss I had to finish a project. That was easy. He said I could have the whole weekend if I just went to some after-hours party at his house. Oh. For what? Oh. Some pretty boys there for decoration. Who else is gonna be there? How should I know? I was gonna say, how should he you know? imagine what kind of friends he has. I'll give you five thousand dollars. What for? A drawing. It's not for sale. No. Just you. Yeah, like this isn't the math isn't math thing to me. And the mascara. <gasps> the oh Horvath knows what I look like. Terrible name. Going to the lesbians, this is so cute. I didn't even think of this. You look like a princess. A queen. Better looking like the queen mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Must be him. I'm not nervous. <clears throat> oh, this is too cute. Hi. You look... Uh, Are the words you're searching for like a princess? I was gonna say, not bad. That'll do. Oh, come on in. Oh. They're lesbians. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Carl. Hey, Carl. Carl. Nice to meet you. Oh my god. Have yeah. fun. Have so much fun. I've been still working on his books. I figured I'd come down here hmm? and have dinner with you and mom. Forgot he's a writer. She's got a date. Oh my god. Wait, is that him? A detective? He better not she ruin this. Hi, sweetheart. Remember my son Michael? Sure. And my brother Vic. Hi. Mike, how you doing? Fine. Well, we're off. <laughs> Allow me. I'm so happy he kept his mouth shut. And uh, and the creme brulee. <laughs> oh, my favorite creme brulee. I actually make creme brulee, and it's banging. <laughs> I hope his health is okay. Listen. I didn't forget what I said, my prediction. If you missed it, I could see George dying and the fortune going to Emmett. Why do I feel like he knows that he's sick? How much mean to me. I'll tell you, Emmett, no one's ever given me such pleasure. 
wait to make love. Mm. <laughs> I wish we could do it right now. Why not? Mile High Club, perhaps? Haven't you ever heard of the Mile High Club? I'm scared. Let's just make it to the destination. I didn't know you had children. Daughter Vicky. I'm a music teacher. Married? To a black guy. Oh. Don't get the wrong idea. Did you hear me say a word? He's nice enough. He's a lawyer. Successful. But you don't like it. I'm working on it. I want to go make her life more difficult. I could feel like the audience like not so even giving HIV him positive. a chance. Oh, That's what I said. But it's interesting to see this on screen because it's happened and it's so fucking real, unfortunately. And again, this was so long ago. It. Like I've, we've never well, seen, I've never seen that said like that before. I worry too for my kid's life. <laughs> I love fucking lobster or crabs, whatever it is. Oh, it's very tight in here. Thank you. This is honestly such goals. Turned on the overhead seat belt. Don't tell me he's gonna have like a heart attack in here. Oh. That was just an orgasm, okay, right? Shut the fuck up, George. Wait, is he having a heart attack? <gasps> Emergency landing. Oh my fucking. Right, George? 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 I'm so scared. George. What? George, what? Oh what? Somebody! Somebody help us, please! You waiting up for me? It's after midnight. You're drunk. So what? Glasses of wine and a very nice time. He's a 55-year-old straight guy with 55-year-old straight guy attitude who needs his eyes open. He's not the only one. You don't know him, Michael. Neither do you. Well, I'd like to. Well, then I suggest you follow your own advice when I said I didn't want you seeing Ben and mind your own fucking business instead of being happy for me. What, happy you're so desperate you'll go out with anyone? They need a timeout. This is crazy, guys. I'm really okay. speechless. Love his shirt. Guys, what the f is happening to George right now? Listen up, relax. <laughs> Why don't we uh, offer him something? Later. Being sketchy. Justin, you don't need this lifestyle when you have someone that loves you and is willing. And Michael's you can pay him. him back. If it's yeah, such yeah. a big deal or if I'm wrong for that. You know, she keeps us up. We're gonna have to take her honorary queer button away. Where are her values? Come on, let's get out of here. Little Mikey's jealous. Little Mikey's jealous. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Talking about. I know. It. You think they did it? You think he slipped her the big greaser? How about some music? You're hurt. You're angry. You're mad enough to kill. Okay, one more word out of you, and I'm throwing you out of the car. Okay? Oh, my love. I love that they're drunk. Why aren't they drunk more often? Shit. <sighs> Is it Jorge? Okay, pulled over. Or whatever. What's the problem, officer? The registration, sir. May I ask what I did wrong? No. He is. He's being a DD. It's a wonderful evening, isn't it, officer? Are you aware you were speeding? Uh, oh, that must be why it felt like we were going so fast. Michael, do you have anything useful to do? What the hell are you doing? Just give me the goddamn ticket. <sighs> oh, now he's done it. Now we're going to get arrested. What now? So you can work me over? Oh, now we're going to jail. You two, put your hands on the car. What did we what? do? I out. Oh. Or half. They're going to get out of this. <laughs> Oh god. I really hope they're not gonna R him. I mean, obviously they are. What's the George situation? We're on an airplane in the air. Like, they're over water. They can't even emergency land. He looks like he's having a good time. 
Oh my god, this is so scary. Sling? He's helpless right now. You'd love it. Come on, why don't you give it a try? I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible and Brian can't even <laughs> like... <laughs> come in I don't want to talk! Do you love what she's cost me? I gotta go. Goddamn right! Who's don't gonna help to him? Work. Okay. Here's the gentleman suffered a massive myocardial infarction. A heart attack. Is, uh, brought on by, uh, is he alive? Overexertion. Well, thank you, doctor. He, they covered his head. Lucky to have a heart specialist on board. What a way to go. I have chills. Oh my god. He's dead. The fact that they had sex on the plane and he died, like, this is queer as folk. Over ice? I have chills everywhere. Thanks. I can't believe he's not. Um, you mind if I stay up here? I don't want to. Freaking leave him alone. down. Make yourself comfortable. You hear that, George? He recognized me. I guess stardom sometimes has its advantages. Here we are, honey. Is he alive? No. I'm waiting for him to break down. What's like? Oh my gosh. I'm so disappointed. All the porno flicks I've seen that take place in prison always show these hot criminal types in heavy man on man action. Free to go. Well, we knew that was going to happen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The word? If you got a problem, talk to me about it. Instead of taking it out on the officer, I'll pull you over. You're a homophobic bigot, and I want you to stay away from my mother. I don't hate gays, I just don't get it. But then you could say the same thing about me, so we're even. As for your mother, she's a very nice lady. Big heart, big personality, big mouth. Call me crazy, but I like that. Go pay your speeding ticket. There'll be no record of your night in the slammer for you or your friends. Thanks. This has been a crazy episode, guys. In order, please? You look like sh Thank you. <laughs> Bacon, raisin toast, and to say I'm sorry. How about you? Oh. Mom, did you hear what I said? Bacon, raisin toast. I meant the sorry part. I said I'm sorry. Like you were ordering something off a menu, and you expect me to serve you up a nice plate of forgiveness. Just like that. I had no right to judge Detective Horvath without knowing him, and I had no right saying the things to you that I said. You're entitled to date whoever you want. Yeah, goddamn right I am. But then so am I. Your cereal's coming right up, Ben. Thank you. What happened to you last night? Don't ask. We have an arrangement. Home by three or my balls turn into pumpkins. <laughs> Ugh, I love this show. That was the party. Uh, Dream. Incredibly tedious. I left early. Anyway. I love his, I like, western look. I decided that working all night and going to school during the day was counterproductive to my goals. I need to prioritize. So I'd like to take you up on your offer, if it still stands. It does. It still stands. And we should have something in writing. Of course. Mm -hmm. Very astute, Justin. So what made you change your mind? A man needs to know when to ask for help. Like, this is how it's motherfucking done. As someone who only tops when I'm in love. <laughs> I fucking love it. That's so hot. This is beyond. I can't believe I knew George was going to die. I, I could have never imagined that was the way he was going to go. But this is what makes this show so insanely good. At the same time, as crazy as that sounds, I'm so happy that Justin turned around and accepted the offer. I jumped the gun. Justin needs to learn. He's a little wild boy. But we got there. I'm so excited for this Debbie storyline. The bitch deserves love and to be loved. I don't know how you guys are going to react to him. I hope you guys are here for it, but I get if you're not, but also, I wonder, hmm, we touched on Ted not 
having a boyfriend, I wonder if that was a bit of a setup to, oh, you could kind of see Ted and Emmett turning to each other now, but I don't know. I don't know if that ruins the friendship. I don't know if that's the way we're going. I'd be here for it. It's so interesting how we dropped the Ted liking Michael storyline. I mean, I know that's so season one, first few episodes, but that was just interesting, like to drop that seed and never seed it. Crazy episode. So cute that Melanie and Lindsay helped Debbie get ready for her date. Loved it. Can we get more of drunk Ted and Brian? They go to Babylon all the time, but they're never like drunk. So that was funny. That was so cute. Yeah, I hope you guys like this reaction if you did give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys on the next one it's billy bitch